Now we're into that emergency disconnect on 23085. So for one or two family dwellings, all service conductors shall terminate in disconnecting means having a short circuit current rating equal to or greater than the available fault current. You're like, why are you telling me that? Because equal to, short circuit, equal to, that's 110.10. .10. Installed in a readily accessible location. Okay, I got that. If more than one disconnect is provided, they shall be grouped. Let me read it again. One or two family dwellings, all service conduct terminate in a disconnecting means. A disconnecting means. means. Not a service disconnecting means. And that disconnecting means has to have short circuit current rating, and a disconnecting means has to be located outdoors, readily accessible. If more than one disconnect is provided, they shall be grouped. Okay, I got... That's if you have an emergency or, disconnect and a service disconnect. It, 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 okay. So now, each disconnect shall be one of the following. It should be one, a service disconnect. Marked, emergency disconnect, service disconnect. Oh. So if I already have a disconnect outside, and that's my service disconnect, then my service disconnect can serve as my emergency disconnect. Well, I mark it service disconnect, emergency disconnect, because that's what it is. Or if you want to put a meter disconnect, which is if you put a disconnect on the supply side of the meter, then you have to mark it as the emergency disconnect. The meter disconnect, not a service disconnect. Because then your service disconnect is after the meter. You follow the logic there? Yeah. And the last one is other listed disconnects or circuit breakers on the supply side of each service disconnect that are suitable for use as service equipment and marks as follows. Okay. So I can put a disconnect that's rated as service equipment ahead. After the meter. After the meter. Has to withstand short circuit rating. No, no. No, that one doesn't. <coughs> yeah. This one, says, one second, no, this one just says this, uh, number three. Talk about number three. Didn't say anything about withstand circuit rating. I can put a listed disconnect switch or circuit breaker on the supply side of each service disconnecting means that's suitable for use as service equipment. Okay? Oh, okay. Just saying that. Uh, let me see what you're talking about. Well, you can get a service rated disconnect, put it on the supply side of the service disconnect that is service rated after the meter. A service disconnect disconnect. Yes, that's a service disconnect disconnect. So you have a meter outside, you have a disconnect inside, and you're going to put another disconnect ahead of the service disconnect because 23082 permits that. 10. Allows you to have a disconnect ahead of the disconnect that's required by the... Then what are you talking about? Why would I do that? Why would I put a meter, have a service disconnect, and then go into a panel and have a service disconnect because... Well, not a service disconnect. Why would I have a meter and go to an emergency disconnect, put it ahead of the service disconnect, where the emergency disconnect has to be rated for service equipment and it has overcurrent protection because I have to say it'd be suitable for the current because it's rated for service equipment. You know why? Go ahead, you want to say something? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking a service change out. Right. I mean, that's what you'd have to have that's to make the, an allowance yep. for that so you don't have to replace the conductors going into the home. And I still actually don't know if that's the case. Do I still well, have yeah, to no, the no. conductors? <laughs> <laughs> so now, still gonna have to so exactly it. what Brian was saying is that this is an emergency disconnect, not a service disconnect that is after the meter on a service change so that the service disconnect, which is located indoors, that's marked service disconnect, that we're going to get a better picture from one of you guys. You with me? That can still be the service That can still be the service disconnect. But even though this is a disconnect that's rated for service equipment, so now we have a problem when we get into bonding and grounding. Oh, we are going to have a problem. But 250.25 and bonding and grounding added requirements on how to bond and ground disconnecting means that are located ahead of the service disconnecting means. Okay? So, emergency disconnect. I'm done with 230. That's a, that's a tough one. Any final comments on 2.30, Mario?
Yeah, just make sure if it's an emergency disconnect and not a service disconnect, that your service disconnect provides the overcurrent protection. The service disconnect still has to provide overcurrent protection. Yeah, but you can't find a disconnect that's listed for service without fuses. Okay. Then it, if, it, no. if you can't, then it'll circuit find breaker. it'll have overcurrent protection. A circuit breaker is listed service rated. Circuit breaker. Without having overcurrent protection inside? No, it has overcurrent protection. Circuit breaker. This, so this switch you're already about, protecting this the switch that's service rated that we're talking about has overcurrent protection. Has, yeah. has to have. I mean, it has it. It's just that we're not going to call it a service disconnect because we don't want to be changing, as Brian said, all the grounding and bonding and the wiring and the cables and everything that was done outside. We're just trying to put a disconnect outside on a service change for the emergency disconnect that's not a service disconnect. But we're going to have to bond it in accordance with two, or grounded, bonded and grounded in accordance with 250.25, which tells us do it just like it was a service. So this is basically a service disconnect ahead of a service disconnect is what we're talking about. It's going to have overcurrent protection. You're going to put a 200 amp breaker here. You're going to go inside to the panel that has a 200 amp breaker, and you're going to bond the neutrals together, and then you're going to bond the neutrals together again. Yeah, and I just want to maybe contest with Joel because there are non-fused disconnects that are suitable for use as service equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can't say that they're not. They're just very Ronk. few. Ronk makes them. Right. Ronk makes them. Ooh. Eaton makes Ronk. them. Ronk. R-O-N-K. Yep. So yeah, a service disconnect does not, not have to have overcurrent yeah. protection within the enclosure. <coughs> Correct. It, could be it has to be to. immediately adjacent to it.